So Blueprints for the Unknown is a body of uh, seven individual projects which all fall under the same umbrella, which is about um, basically probing uh, the impact of biotechnologies on society. So each project takes a very specific intersection between science and society uh, as its starting point and explores it, um, explores how it could change uh, in the near future. So we have a project about um, healthcare and insurance systems, the oil industry, financial markets, um, bonsai trees, green politics. So we're kind of covering up um, seven very specific niches in society. So the, the project is part of a, a European Union a science and art collaboration called Studio Lab. Uh, and the projects here are all made by um, researchers at the Royal College of Art in a design interactions research department. Um, so myself and six others uh, all worked on projects. So this project is, is my work, it's called The New Weatherman and it's um, looking at the relationship between science and environmental uh, green politics. Uh, so The New Weatherman are, are um, a fictional group of activists who embrace synthetic biology as a form of uh, direct action, so almost biology as a weapon. Uh, to serve a, a kind of radical environmentalist agenda. So yeah, the, the project is uh, based around three proposals which come out of the group's manifesto. Uh, and so what you see here are kind of scale models, the, the tests that the group would carry out before actually um, fully engaging in the, in the action. So one is about disrupting the, um, the diesel industry by infecting the tanks with a diesel bug. Uh, the other one is about uh, the palm oil plantations, um, which is a very criticized um, when the industrial plantations in, the, in uh, Southeast Asia basically take over biodiversity. So this is proposing um, a treatment which basically modifies the palms uh, to make people really sick when they eat it. Uh, so kind of like a reflex treatment to keep public opinion away or against um, palm oil. And the last one is about um, copyrighted species of grass which are used in um, golf courses in the States. Uh, so it's about um, a system which would spread a compound with wind and remove the copyrighted gene um, and also remove the herbicide resistance which then turns the whole golf course into mud basically. I'd say it's, a, it's an example of what I try to do in my work, which is um, using design as a, as a tool to, to create new narratives of science and society. So going away from the stuff we hear in mainstream media, the hype or the dystopias uh, that tend to be very polarized, to try to find some, um, some middle ground and some more nuanced stories. Um, so to do that, um, I try to get an informed view of the science, so always collaborating with scientists. In this case, Kaha Garvey, a biohacker in Cork in Ireland. Um, so I'd say it's, um, it's a good case study of what I try to do. Yeah. So I think um, design is in, a, is in an interesting position because it's, it's a language that um, we're all familiar with in our everyday lives. So by using the same codes and the same kind of language, we can use design not to make products for now, but to prefigure or to imagine uh, what comes next. And so by making this, um, these scenarios tangible uh, and recognizable as, as being part of things we recognize, um, we can hopefully open them up for discussion before these things are actually implemented. And so I think this, all seven projects here are doing that in, in different ways and using different media, but that's the underlying kind of questions and motivations behind the work.